Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ashish Majala. In this particular video, I am going to give you some clarity on uh, regarding the willingness submission after sixth round. Many people are having doubt in this particular regard, so that's why I'm making this video. So, do you need to submit any willingness after sixth round of JOSA counseling? No, you need not to submit any willingness like freeze or slide or float. Do you need to freeze uh, the seat? No need. Automatically, the seat get freeze. Don't worry. Okay. So, by the end of sixth round, if you got seat allotted in IIT. Just go to IIT website, check the process and complete the process. I mean admission process. I have explained it clearly in today's morning video. Please go and check. And by the end of sixth round, if you are into NIT, if you are into NIT or triple IT or GFTI, what do you have to do? So if you got newly allotted, complete the process by 18th. Okay. If you already got allotted and uh, every process done like uh, seat acceptance fee, document verification and all, it's done. Then what do you have to do? From 19th to 21, you have to pay partial admission fee. So as of now, till 19th, you need not to do anything if you already got allotted and all the process is done. If you newly allotted, first time you got a seat in the sixth round, then you have to complete document verification, seat acceptance fee payment 35,000 or 15,000 according to your category. And again, from 19th to 21, you have to again pay partial admission fee based on your category like 40,000 and 20,000. So this is, a, this is the simple thing which I wanted to do, say to many of you people. So you need not to freeze the seat, it will get automatically freezed, okay? So that's it for this video guys. Uh, if you find this is a time worthy video, please do like, share and subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.